Hello everybody and welcome to my first geometry video. This exists for the same reason as my first video. I was faced with a problem and I figured, hey, there should be an easy explanation on Google somewhere and I could not find one. So I bring together some other equations and put together this juxtaposed equation to hopefully simplify our life and it has to do with medians. So the general median formula is that the median is equal to one half the square root of 2a squared plus 2b squared minus c squared where a, b, and c are sides and c is the side that it touches. What we're ultimately trying to do is we're going to try and solve one side based off of the three medians as opposed to this where we're solving one median based off of the three sides. So at this point I multiply both sides by 2 to get it simplified here and then we can square both sides. So now down below I wrote down formulas for the other two medians and we can just start adding these all together. We're going to square the 2 to give us a 4 we can pull out all the coefficients giving us the sum of the squares of the three medians. And so now what we need to look at is these three terms. So essentially we're going to have two sets of 2a squared and one set of negative a squared equal to 3a squared. This is true for all the sides, so this can be simplified to 3a squared plus b squared plus c squared. At this point what we're going to use is Stewart's theorem, which says that a squared times this portion plus b squared times this portion equals m squared times the whole portion plus half times half times whole. We have to notice that c will split these into two equal spots, so this is the same thing as saying a squared times one half c, and it's the same thing for b. Well, this one's obvious, it's just going to be m squared times c. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide everything by c, and then we're going to multiply everything by 4. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, same thing, 4 times 1 is 4, and 4 divided by 2 divided by 2 is 1. At this point, I divide everything by 2 to solve it for a squared plus b squared. Why? Well, I'll highlight everything red to show you why. Make more sense now? Okay, well, one thing you may be wondering is why couldn't we plug 2 a squared plus 2b squared up into this equation. The reason for that is because we would get the problem where you'd have c squared minus c squared and we have m in terms of m and we're not looking for that. We need all three sides because three sides will determine the length of a median. So at this point I took this equation and I replaced the a squared plus b squared with 2m squared plus c squared halves and then we're going to combine these two. So at this point what I did is I divided both sides by 3 and I distributed the 4 thirds into these three terms. The reason I did this was because I want to get the 2m squared and move it to this side. So one thing you'll notice is we can then cross this portion out. Then we can write this portion as minus 2 thirds. So I did all that work just to pull 3 halves out of here. And the reason I did that is because we multiply both sides by 2 thirds. And we'll notice that this squares then. That way we can take the square root of both sides while the 2 thirds just goes to 2 thirds. And we can just put all of this under the square root here. It's equal to c. In conclusion, what we here have is two very similar formulas, one that converts the sides into a median and the other that converts the medians into a side length. Thank you for watching, and I hope these end up being helpful at some point.